Okay, okay, okay. Everything is set and everything is recording. Hey, what's happening all my dragonlings? I am your dragon god of gaming, Damien Dragon. And welcome back to the gaming news where I run down the list of all the gaming news, facts, rumors, trivia, and everything coming out of the gaming industry this week. Now, this week I want to tackle a, a game that I've been watching very freaking closely. And it's called Dragon Age Dreadwolf. So, with all that being said, let's just jump straight into the news, shall we? And see what we got this week. Alright. It is not a secret that I am a giant fan of Dragon uh, of the Dragon Age series. As shown by my uh, 200 plus videos on Dragon Age Inquisition and my multiple playthroughs. But the latest game in development may not be coming within 2023 like intended. Apparently due to voice lines and features apparently still are lacking in plain text as placeholders. But people are still saying the game will release in 2023. But we're really not that sure. And it may still be further out than that. There are sources apparently ta um, talking in detail about the game structure, like the multiplayer that was cut early in development. Also, like the original games, there is a central hub where you go between quests to talk to your party members as well as buy and customize equipment. Also, apparently the game's combat is taking cues from the likes of Final Fantasy XV with a real-time combat system. Uh, but with all that being said, Bioware has gone on record in saying that the game was playable from start to finish as of October 2022 and is in good shape and progressing well, so I guess take that for what you will. But we can hope that it comes out very soon. And to be honest, I will have to agree. Um, if it is playable from start to finish as of October, and we are within February of 2023, uh, I can say that there are at least a good chunk of the way done. I feel that they are going to be releasing it within 2023. We're only two months in. Uh, and uh, we are still awaiting a lot more word from uh, Dragon Age Red Wolf. As of the moment right now, I believe there is leaks online. Uh, as I've been seeing of uh, some of the gameplay. And, uh, you know. And they did drop a new trailer for uh, Dragon Age Red Wolf. Which I did watch. And it was freaking phenomenal. Uh, I followed the Dragon Age story very closely, and I'm very interested in the story. Why? Because, again, as I said, I am a huge Dragon Age fan. I love Dragon Age. And, uh, I've played Dragon Age 1, 2, and, of course, Inquisition. I've played them multiple times through multiple different characters, multiple different storylines. Even going so far as to playing the game on Nightmare difficulty... Which I really don't do when it comes to my uh, my story progressions or anything that I do when it comes to uh, actual get actual uh, gameplay on my channels that I actually do. I don't really play Nightmare Difficulty because there's no real need. I normally go for the story, but Dragon Age was an exception. I was absolutely enamored with the game and I wanted to play it as much as physically possible. So, with all that being said, uh, what can I say about Dreadwolf? Um, following on from the story from the last time, I'm really hoping that, you know, Bioware is putting a lot into it. And to be honest, I don't care how long they take. They need to make this game as good as physically possible. You cannot follow Inquisition if you are not that good. Dragon Age Inquisition was amazing. And, and the story was incredible. The, game, the combat was astounding. There's multiple different ways you can go through all, all through the entire game, and it has been like that since Dragon Age 2. So the story needed to be on point, and to be honest, if it's taking them this long, then I'm really hoping that a really good game comes out of it. And yes, do I think that sometimes it is a good idea to, um, you know, reel back games and, uh, you know, delay them sometimes? Yes, because if you do not put out a polished game, then believe me. There, there is a Dragon Age fandom, and I can guarantee you that a bunch of people will be fucking furious. Incredibly furious if this game does not come out as wickedly intended. 
And believe me, I would freaking riot too. Believe me. Because I love the Dragon Age series. And I, I can't say that enough. And I really want this game to be as good as possible. So. Do I think it will probably be out in 2023? Yeah. Why? Because if the game is playable from start to finish. Then the game's progression has been done. There has to be some tweaks that needs to be made. And to be honest, I hope that we see the game arise sometime soon. And the minute it does, I'm dropping as much money as needed to get the game. <laughs> so, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for listening. I appreciate it. And I do hope everyone enjoyed. Uh... <laughs> You know what? I'm going to let everything explain, but don't don't worry about everything as for right now. I will see you very soon. The uh, gaming news is going on a, uh, well, it's going on about 200 episodes. It's about 200 episodes. And I've done this for years. So don't worry. Gaming news is not going nowhere, no matter what you see in the coming weeks. But the gaming news is still going to be our highest priority. But just don't don't worry about everything what, what about what happens. Uh, I will be back <laughs> on the gaming news. But we're trying some things. So I, I can't wait for you guys to see what we got in store for you guys. So don't, do not worry about that. But I will not be uh, here next week for the gaming news. Uh, the, the gaming news is going under a little bit of what I like to call a metamorphosis. I am actually going to be uh, upgrading what I'm doing. And I want to bring you guys like live trailers and stuff like that. I want to be able to give you guys uh, something really unique when it comes to the gaming news. I don't want to just be like that one person who just puts in like shit all work. And yeah, I don't want to do like just randomly 10 minute, you know, gaming segments and stuff like that. I want to make it like a full-on fledged thing and uh, that takes time so actually uh, me uh, and me chaos and Tui, we all uh, sat around and talked and um, yeah we're we're doing something so just for now give me some time uh, next time you guys see me I may have something really good and revamped for you guys so with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys do not do not know what I mean, don't worry about it. You'll see what I mean. So with all that being said, thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for listening. I will see you guys very soon for another episode of the Gaming News. But for now, I'll see you guys then. But until then, peace. This is Damon Dragon signing off now. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time.